Okay, so we've got a cube, but you've gone back and you decided you want to add uh, a new measure group, and you want to add a new measure. So, first of all, you want to make sure that the fact that the measures you're pulling from are included. In other words, the the fact table is in your data source view. So you come down to your data source view, make sure that it's there, make sure that it has relationships. Um, and then you can come back into your cube and you can right click and say new measure and in this case we want to add the total product cost for internet sales and we want to add the total product cost for reseller sales okay and you probably want to rename them it's like this is uh, reseller total cost and this is enter cost okay so we just added a new measure so now what if we want to add a new group? So we come in here, again you need to make sure that table's there, and then you need to select that table, and now here it is. Um, one thing that's kind of strange is it doesn't show your measures until you double click on it, and then what you, and of course it's going to pull in all the ones that it can, so you want to get rid of any of the ones that you're not interested in. All we want is sales amount quota. So we want to get rid of this count. Okay, so now we've got um, sales amount quota. And I'm just going to get rid of the fact there. Okay, so another thing you want to make sure of is that that um, this ignore unrelated dimensions I want to make sure that 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 is proper so it's supposed to be false and it's true so yeah we definitely want to change that to false so now that's correct um, another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it is of the right um, string format. This is a quota amount. This is actually currency. It's how much money they're supposed to be making. So that's good. Um, this product cost, uh, formatting string, of course that's currency because it's cost. And again, currency. Okay, so now we have those. So now let's say you need uh, you need to like do a um, calculation. Let's say we want to um, know what the total sales is. We want to be able to add you know internet sales and reseller sales. We want to be able to graph the the total together. So instead of making the user have to create that calculation, we can go ahead and add that here. Of course, you could have done that in your uh, ETL so that we wouldn't have to do it at this point, which would probably be a better way to do it. But let's say we're not ETL people, that's somebody else, and we can't get them to do it. They're busy with other things. So what you want to do is you want to go to calculations. I've already done them here. But um, what you do is you right click here and say new calculated member and you um, want to put in square brackets so that you can have spaces and everything. Um, your total cost, and you want to say where it is, you know, where do, where, does it want to, where do you want it to appear in the hierarchy. I'm just going to have it be um, off apparent. Um, and then you want your expression, so you want to add in, so let's see, total cost, so let's take the cost from internet and we want to add that to the product cost from um, from reseller 
we want to format this. Um, we can say whether it's visible or not. Um, we can have its uh, non-empty behavior. And we can also um, put it in a folder group. Um, but we can, al we can also do some, some rather strange things. We can, we can change its colors. Um, I would rather leave that up to the chart maker. I don't understand why you'd want to put it here, but you can, and it will actually show up. Um, so let's get rid of total cost since we already have that. Okay, so that's how you do calculations. So now we would want to reprocess. So now we've reprocessed. Go back to the browser and we click enable. Okay, so here we can see our um, total product cost is here. So we can see that works. Um, and we can see. Uh, there's the sales quota. We can see that works. Oh, and here's our um, our um, calculated values. So we can see that works, although something's wrong with that. But anyway, that's how that works.